Here's Liana. This is the material for our experiment, hydrogen preoxide reacted with yeast. This is hydrogen preoxide, H2O2. You can buy it in any supermarket, Safeway, Five Meyer, anywhere. So uh, it has two main functions of H H2O2. The first one is widening and closing bleach. And the second one is you can use it as mouthwash, toothpaste, and is preventing infection. And is this is the first set product, and this one contains three percent of hydrogen preoxide. This is yeast. You can use it during the baking process. This is the one that we are going to use in our experiment. You can find it in any supermarket as well. And this is an empty bottle. And this is the tablespoon. And this is the sticker. And this is this is the lighter. This is Tiffany. Today I'm going to talk about yeast and hydrogen peroxide. The materials are yeast, hydrogen peroxide, lighter, Buddha stick, glass bottle. The experimental procedures are prepare a clean glass bottle, add hydrogen peroxide into the bottle. Add some yeast into the bottle. Now, the hydrogen peroxide is decomposing. Light the wooden stick and blow out. Put it into the bottle. The wooden stick burns. This is because hydrogen peroxide will react oxygen. This is the chemical formula. 2H2O2 will react O2 plus 2H2O plus heat. Now, let's start the experiment. Toby and uh, I am going to do the experiment. So, so first thing, we're going to grab the empty bottle. And the second thing is we're going to grab is uh, hydrogen peroxide, which is H2O2. And you have to be carefully put it in the bottle um, as many amount as you want to right here. So as you can see, it's kind of slow, and you, that's just that much. And then next thing, you're gonna use a tablespoon and grab a certain amount of uh, yeast right here, and then you put it in there. And the next thing you can see is this ha happen some um, bubbles coming out, and then when you shake it, it actually comes out more bubbles. Yeah. This is um, a very dramatic um, uh, chemical reaction and you can see it's so much bubbles coming out and then still some things haven't been reacted yet. So keep shaking it and you will have so much bubble out. And thank you. Hi, I'm Joyce and I'm gonna do the examination for our experiment. The H2O2 react with yeast. You scrub the stick and then you light it up. And then you put it into the bottle and then you will see what's going on. So that's the oxygen that's coming up. So you can see in this. So yeast is the catalytic decomposition. 